May I have your passport and arrival document, please? Thank you. You're welcome. Your name? Scott Knowles. Why did you come to KAIST? I came to KAIST to join the faculty of the Graduate School of Science and Technology Policy. Do you have any teaching experiences before? I've been a teacher for 22 years. What courses have you taught? History of Technology, History of Science. You went to Daejeon Expo for History of World Exposition. Do you know Gumdori? I didn't get a chance to go to that, but I wrote a book about it, and I do know him. Oh, what's that book about? It's about the history of World's Fairs. Oh, so it includes the Daejeon Expo. Yeah, Daejeon Expo is a really important example. Oh, is it? Yeah. Do you like Nopjuki or Gumdori? I like them both. You like them both? Mm -hmm. I prefer blue, so I like Nopjuki better. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. And you said that student collaboration is important for advising. What do you mean by this? Well, in order for the team to feel like they're work is valid, they have to be really taking a very leadership role. It's important for students to work together. If they're going to actually become strong researchers, they have to be able to understand the work that they want to do. So you want them to collaborate to become better researchers? Absolutely. Most of the work they're going to do in the future is collaborative anyway. If there's an aggressive student in the group critic, how are you going to manage it? If there's a student that's overly critical, it usually means that they have some lack of confidence on their own. So it's important to take that student aside and actually hear what their complaint is so that they don't exercise that concern to the whole group. How did you encourage collaboration? Well, we have collaborative projects. We start from the beginning, sit down and imagine what kind of projects we want to do, and then we find out the different ways people want to work about them together. So you just leave the students go collaborative by assigning them the projects? Well, I don't really have a conventional lab. I'm not a scientist. So we're doing many different kinds of projects. Some students join the project. Some of them go and do their own thing. It's open to the student, however they want to proceed. You said international networking is also important. What's this? Well, that's because in the kind of research I do, we have scholars who participate from North America, from Europe, from South America, from all parts of Asia. And so for a student to be able to become a scholar in this area, they're going to have to build an international network. You deal with all kinds of histories? I deal with the history of disaster going as far back as we can learn about it. How many countries do you have friends in? Oh my gosh, how many countries are there? Over hundreds? Lots of places. Oh, we have awesome. research active on every continent. Do you have friends in North Korea? No. Oh. Can I be your friend too? Of course. Please put your thumb right there. It says you easily get excited and everyone gets stretched too thin. What do you mean that you stretch the students thin? Oh, that's an English expression for taking on a little bit too much work. So sometimes I think we get so excited about all the opportunities out there. Maybe we overcommit. So we have to make sure that we balance our time and we don't work too hard. So you're being too much passionate? Well, we love our work. Have students made a claim about the stretch? No. They're also passionate. Of course. Do you have anything to declare for students? Well, the future is going to be made by the students who are here today. So they need to understand that the way that this country or other countries look is going to be in their hands. So I think empowering them is the most important thing. So they should be positive and they should have plenty of confidence that their ideas are going to be the ones that shape the future. Okay. Have a good time at KAIST. Here's your passport. You can go. Thank you. We've got cold. You got a flu? No, I'm fine. Uh, you're fine? Oh, this. I you. feel, um, I want you to get well soon. Oh, no, I was never sick. I oh. was, ex oh, you there were. was exposure in my son's oh. school, and I was being very careful because I didn't want, no. Oh. So, it was okay. Thank you, though.